Greetings, y'all. It's Matt from the Green Arcade, back playing some more Farming Simulator 19. Hey, we're back here in Michigan, and we got a little logs. I think I finally got the uh, auto-loading feature down. So, yeah, we're going to take them up here. Now, I have got to be really careful turning into this place, because I rolled one. Uh, yeah, I kind of rolled one here. And it was a process getting it up, let me tell you. Uh, if you don't have a tractor with front loader arms to flip you back up, it is a process to get it flipped back up. I basically had to push this thing. It's lucky I flipped it right here. I had to push it all the way down here to the cell point and get the logs sold out of it just to get it uprighted. So we got to be careful, especially when we're top heavy like we are now. So we're going to be cautious with our speed here <laughs> from now on until we can get something with some arms, you know. Uh, technically we could buy something right now, but I've got other plans. So, let's sell that. Making pretty good dough. 61000 for that full, well, over full load that we had. So, we'll head on back down here. Making pretty good dough. Pretty good dough. So we got $416,000. Uh, tell you what. I want to go ahead and do some stuff. Uh, first things first, well, we don't even have to get out of the menu. This property right over here. All these trees, it is flat. There are no rocks, no uh, buildings, no obstructions, nothing out here to stop us from turning this into one pretty good sized field out here. And it's got a lot of timber. And it's more open. Uh, well, there's a random pine tree out in the middle, huh? How about that? No, there's a few out here. Okay. I thought it was all firs. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, nice flat, open, um, it borders field 2 right here, and we can get that eventually, I guess. But, uh, yeah, nice and open field, uh, I haven't seen anything out here that would stop us, so, at the very least, we could, uh, make a pretty good size field out of this. So I want to go ahead and buy it. Just this little area, you can, like I said, you can't buy anything around it, which is weird, but, um, we'll go ahead and buy this part. 354 for this one. Ouch. But I tell you, it's an investment. We'll probably make all of that and then some back on the timber. So, just remember, we paid 354 for it. Although I think you can uh, tell how much you, how much it's worth. Yeah, value 354. So, if we make 354 or more back on it, the timber alone will pay for that uh, that area. So we own that now. We'll head on back down to the river. And I'm headed to the river. Can't remember the lyrics. Headed to the river. Nope, here comes the train. We gotta stop for the trains. But yeah, that'll that'll make us a pretty good buck right there. All those trees. It's gonna take some time too. I'll probably I'll be honest. I release these videos on Sunday. I think I'm just gonna do them on Sunday alone. Uh, three episodes per Sunday. And um, if my calculations are correct, this is the first video uh, of the three. Uh, they'll be in no order whatsoever because I'm probably gonna record these all at different times. But uh, I'm probably going to work on this map a lot off recording. And then, you know, pretty much just say, okay, we're going to work on those woods and we'll come back and half those woods will be gone. So uh, I'm really enjoying this map. I like the, uh, I like the uh, American flat feel of it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, but yeah, I still want to clear out these areas down here and make some uh, fieldage first out of the river areas and then we'll get to work on that over there so that might sit for a minute um, we should probably invest in some more fields that are actually fields probably maybe but the rest of them are kind of expensive I think the next cheapest field is in the 200,000 range so yep that's a thing Alright, now, I've been uh, working on this down here. I'm going to have to turn around down here. 
Or, well, I guess I could load these. No, I'm going to turn around. What I did, basically, I started going around the edge here. And I think I'm going to keep up that, uh, that method because I can load these into the trailer here a whole lot easier with this uh, loading feature that it has. We'll just pretend there's a little uh, Oompa Loompa with a log crane on this and uh, he's picking up the logs. Uh, you know what, I'm just going to drive in this guy's potatoes, I don't even care. Because uh, we're not going to worry about worry about with the potatoes. No potatoes. Alright, I'm going to do something a little different here, I'm going to have to drive through the woods. So this is the surprise down here. Uh, for these woods, anyway, we got a deer. Um, so yeah, he's just there, frozen in place. These are relic statues left over, and you notice I say statues because there are other surprises out in these woods, uh, and you'll see those eventually. But uh, this is this one for this section. Um, it's a deer. It's there. We can't move it. We can't uh, cut it down. I don't think we can cut it down. I've never tried to cut down a deer. Um, no. So, we can't, uh, we can't cut it down, can't cut it at the legs or anything. It's a decoration that's just pretty much there, so we're gonna have to work around it. Um, let me turn uh, this back on, and they should just jump right in there, maybe. Unless they're blocked by another tree. No? Maybe? Oh, you know what? I didn't cut that one up, I don't think. Okay, let me cut this one down. Boy, these bushes. Let's see, I'm gonna like kind of that way. There it goes. So yeah, we're making some money on the uh, whole logging here. There is money in logging, apparently. I think we get a little bit more on this map for the uh, trees. Um, whoop. Wait a minute. Whoop. Hang on. There it is. Got it. All right. So I'm just I've just been kind of eyeballing this on where to cut these in sections. It's been working so far. Whoa. Okay, so that happens, yeah. If you cut it up into pieces uh, near your trailer and you have that thing on, it's going to take them. <laughs> Just like that. So uh, let's see if it does this one. Cut this one right here. If it zaps it up in there. Well, it took that side. Okay, it's taking my longer logs, which is kind of what I didn't want to do. But, I wonder if I can cut these while they're up in there. One thing I've kind of noticed, this thing doesn't... Yeah, it does trigger. Here we go. Maybe I can cut these in half. Get them to fall down on in there. Yeah, there we go. That'll give us a little extra room there. Let me get on this side over here and see if I can cut this one. Should be able to. Maybe. Hmm. I'm not getting a trigger. That ain't gonna work. Let's see if I can do it this way. There we go. That'll work. Alright. Anything else I need to cut up back here? Nope. Just some stones to get out. Alright. So we'll hit on up past this deer here. I gotta say, I've usually been against the auto load log trailer things, but uh, I'm kind of liking it. It's easier, it makes things easier. Way easier. Right, let's get back over here where we uh, got a kind of a log road maybe established here with our tracks. Let me get on back up front here. So we got a few logs up here and we'll take this load. We really need to get on our harvest. Um, it is still ready to go down there. 
We'll hop down there once we get these up and sell them. Just drive slow. I can recommend that. If you drive too fast, it'll throw it all kinds of wonky. And, um... I don't think this will be a full load. Just drive slow. Yeah, if you drive too fast, they'll fly out the back. So, and remember your straps are not on. Just drive super duper slow just to make sure they get up somewhat close to the front. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take this load because it's kind of uh, awkwardly positioned here. I should have cut those trees up in sections before I activated that feature and drove past them because it will it doesn't matter uh, how long it is it'll suck it up in there and then you'll get those logs sitting up on the top like that so delim top your trees and cut them up in sections before you get ready to pick them up that works best uh, and also stump <laughs> I st I've gotten where I'm stumping now beforehand uh, especially trying to get this big contraption uh, down in there I've gotten hung up uh, a couple times and I learned that I need to stump beforehand. So, yeah. Alright, don't expect to get 61,000 out of this load. I might get, uh, oh, if I'm lucky, 40. Uh, it'd probably be more something like uh, 20 to 30,000, I think, out of this one. And then we'll head back. We'll go dump the trailer and I think I'm going to start the harvest down there. Our uh, field, the growth, is ready, so... And I need to finish plowing that field, too. I've got to get that finished, because once I get this harvested, I'm going to start uh, planting these areas. And I'm going to plant soybeans, because soybeans... Uh, they're not good right now, but... We had a $3,800 price for them, so... Yeah, we're going to plant soybeans, huh? Slow down here. Make this turn not too fast. Although this this load is not as uh, top heavy as my previous loads. As long as I get it under 15, I think I'll do okay. 15 miles per hour. Alright, uh, yeah, 33. I, I knew it wouldn't be as much, but still make pretty good dough on uh, logs here. And what do we got now? 95,000. There's another area that I want to buy. This little small area here. It's only 101,000. And we'll make that shortly. Very, 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 very shortly. I would almost start cutting on these trees up here just to get that. But we're going to buy that. Just, you know, spoiler alert, that little section down there south of 9. It's got trees all in it, so we'll make money back on it. And uh, I can make that a little field as well. Because I'll be honest, this section up here is going to take a minute before we can turn it into fields, so... We're going to go ahead and grab up some of the smaller properties uh, around the map and try to make uh, fields out of them. Some of them I don't think we'll be able to. And I probably won't touch those areas. Um, it's the areas that have the little small tiny trees in them that you can't plow through or cut down. We're probably going to leave those wooded areas. Um, yeah, the timber, we could sell the timber and make more money, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, especially if we sell soybeans at over $4,000. They do get over $4,000, I'm told. So, we need to store up on soybeans. How's barley doing? I've got some barley in the tank down there. Uh, it's doing good. You know what, I'm just going to leave this price thing up here instead of moving that bar down because I don't have any milk to sell. So now we can look at all of the prices at one glance there. Alright, so we'll start back off from here and cut a few more trees off here when we come back. 
Uh, I can turn the help off now, and I'll disconnect that. And we'll leave logging for a minute. We're going to go get started on our harvest. So yeah, looking, we'll go look at this small area down here. I think I've already shown it before, but I think I'm going to go look at it again. Uh, the only really last forest area, I think, I'll have to look at some of these down south. I know I'm probably not going to buy the one between 14 and 13 over there. I'll probably leave that. Um, and those other two down south, I don't know. I need to go and, I guess we just need to go and take a look at them to see what we plan on buying. Because the rest will probably be fields, fieldage area, so depending on the price. The next smaller field would probably be like field 8, which is up there in that forest area. But here's that little section of area. See, it's got a ton of trees on it, so we'll probably make our money back on that. Uh, I would say there's at least at least two or three full loads so that would be um, probably about a hundred and eighty thousand dollars there and the property only costs a hundred and one so we're doing good there um, can't drive across the ditch one thing about Michigan you gotta be careful if you drive off in a ditch you're there uh, but yeah, 14 and 13 has those little trees, so I'm not going to buy this area. So those woods out there will stay. Let's drive down here. I might buy this little section here. Empty lot, no trees on it, but we could make a pretty good sized little field out of it here. And then when we buy 12 eventually at some point, uh, this will make a pretty good sized field right here. Uh, now the woods at the end of 17, maybe they're, I think there might be a part of, um, can you buy those woods? Nope, they're part of 17. Okay, that's $106,000 for those woods over there. If I can find a way in here, I'll show y'all what I'm talking about. And there is still a ditch. Uh, yep, yeah, nope, I can't jump that. Um, you know, I think there's a road in there somewhere. That comes across. Yeah, there's a road over there. I'm not going for a swim today, guys. Because we got to get to harvesting. It's almost noon here. We're going to have to stop and get lunch. We'll go to, we'll go to, uh, Wendy's for lunch. I'm craving a Frosty. I actually had Wendy's yesterday for lunch. Had uh, They got a new uh, maple bacon chicken sandwich. Comes on a uh, croissant bun. So it was really good. I liked it. Alright. So right here. These little trees. You can't cut these trees. Um, of course I don't have access to the land so I can't prove it to you. But these little trees you can't cut. Um... And they're phase throughable, so you can't and you can't plow them under. Um, they might just be no, they're out in the middle too. There's one right there. So that's why I'm not buying these woods because of the little trees. We couldn't do anything with this property, any, anything other than plant more trees. Yeah, see, they're out here in the middle. Um, so we can't do anything with that. Um, I'm assuming they're over here too. Maybe. Yep, there's one. See, these are out in the middle here, too. Those other woods up there that we bought don't have these little trees out in them. Uh, now, these trees you can cut, but it's just these little tiny ones. These are little ones that look like little mini Christmas trees. Uh, can't cut them. Can't get rid of them. So, yeah. And they are all mixed out here. Unless we wanted to plant a crop of trees growing up in them, which I don't. And uh, there's a lot of oaks out here, too, so we'd have to get in the uh, wood chipping business. So I may just leave these woods, uh, leave these alone, and um, leave them here. All right, let's see. Where's the other set of woods? They're right over there. Can I get there from here? Easy, maybe. You know what? I don't destroy their crop. I'm just gonna drive through the crop, guys. 
just for speed purposes of demonstration, we're going to go over here. Yeah, this is the last wooded area, I think. Yep. Whoa, ditch, 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 ditch. Those ditches are not friendly. It's hard to get out of them, too, so we got to be careful. Um, now, these woods, I don't see any of those trees. So I might buy these woods. It's just the woods with the little trees. They have little fun surprises in them. If I don't have any of those little trees in here, I might buy these area, these these area, this area of woods, of forests or whatever you want to call it. Yep, I'm not seeing any uh, on the edge or inside. No, mm -mm. no little trees. Not down here on this little southern, southern, southern tip here. Southern edge. No, nope, I'm gonna go ahead and say there's no little trees in this. So we can uh, probably get this area and um, deforest these trees out of here. I don't see any little trees. And we could. Uh, plow a lot of this up and turn it into field here. It's like, whoa. There's some elk. Yeah, these are elk, guys. And they are, uh, nope, they're not face throwable either. Alright, Rudolph, let's go. Oh, um, okay, so we'd have to work around these guys. But, um, still, though, I think we could. I think we could work around them. Because there's plenty of acreage out here. As long as it doesn't have those little trees, we'll be alright. Nice little fun surprises out here in these woods. So yeah, no trees. We might buy this. How much is this? Not right now. Um, mm, 299,000. It's cheaper than what we had up here, but that's a pretty good size field. Is this, can we buy that? No, we can't buy these woods. So that's it. Other than these up here. And these we'll probably end up getting um, since we own just right across the creek there from it. You know, right there. I think we can get her, get in right there. Alright, let's head back over and harvest that, and, um, what are we doing? Barley? Yeah. Head back around the map. Alright guys, so when we come back, we'll start our barley harvest. And, um, try to get that in. We've already got some barley in storage. Um, and we'll wait for a good price. I, I think the prices can get better on those. So uh, we'll get that in and get those two fields plowed together, get the other one finished up, and uh, get to planting. We'll probably plant some uh, soybeans, like I said, and uh, hold on to those until we uh, get over 4,000 or close to it, you know. And uh, yeah, that's that. Alright, guys, until next time, remember you reap what you sow. It's Matt from the Green Arcade. We'll see you guys later.